when I was growing up, I was extremely rebellious. I was rebelling against authority. I was rebelling against my religion. I was very conscious of the fact that I was different from other people. It can be difficult for, for people who are close to me, yeah, because sometimes they can't reach me. There was a point in my life when um, I was totally obsessed with painting. Art consumes you. One thing about human nature is that we are constantly trying to fill up this, this hole in the soul that we have. Yeah. For some people, maybe it's love. work has incredible energy. It actually stops you. It gives you a moment of contemplation. If you look at it long enough, you get caught in a kind of swirl that, that pulls you in deeper and deeper. And in this, you know, for a space world, you don't get those moments very often. When he paints, he doesn't just invoke a figure or a certain colour, he actually invokes uh, an entire landscape of this of this place that has also very strong historical resonances. He's a very ancient being operating in a very modern context. His journey or his excavations have taken him into a part of both the Malay and Southeast Asian past that today is very contentious. Our understanding of Islam has been filtered by all the major political events that have dominated the world, terrorism, Al-Qaeda-ism, 9-11-ism, we understand Islam within that prism. Zaki stands apart from all of this. A look at his painting of uh, male nudes, for example, or you know, bananas tied together. I see it very much at the centre of Islamic humour, of Islamic metaphors, very much in line with the uh, Sufistic or mystical Islamic tradition. The works are like a personal diary, but it's kind of cryptic, you know? You need to know the key to be able to decipher. In the process of questioning what is life, the body becomes very interesting. When I first started the new series, you know, there was uh, various responses, you know, some people think I'm gay, some people think they're dirty, you know, they're... Very few people can connect it to something religious. The overt sensuality, if not sexuality, of some of his paintings. These are very important ways of challenging the notion of what comprises Islamic tenets. The most famous saying in Islam is um, know yourself before you know your God. Yeah? So you can say that this journey for me is a journey of knowing myself. I think he's not completely understood. I think there's a, a really great need to begin to have a reappreciation of what he means in the most expansive sense of the word. I see him very much within the tradition that was established by the great masters. Like, you know, everyone from Albrecht Dürer to uh, Lucian Freud and Francis Bacon with whom he identifies very much in terms of form, colour and so on. So I think he's very much gleaned that spirit. And in terms of tradition, of course, that's a masterful tradition to come from. And you see the craft and you see the strong hand that is in Zaki's work.